I think the invest investment opportunities in the future, especially in the kind of medium term, in the next, say, two, three years, are going to be very difficult to find, simply because they're not in the predictable areas where we expect them to find in the general movement of the market, for example, indices and the likes. Okay? You're going to look for the much more spotted individual opportunities where the plays are based or the investment opportunities are based on a much better balance sheet of the companies, individual companies with a better growth story, better growth projection, better management, lower debt, higher exposure to the or potential exposure to paying the you know, more solid and stable dividends and the rest. So it's really a story of fundamentals which are kind of you, you look at the entire spectrum itself and the, to me the market is going into the sideways direction where it's going to be along the flatter, if you want, growth trend with a lot of volatility around it. And in that type of a story you still have the outperformers, you still have the good place, still have good interest in companies and good interest in sectors. Move into them, try to identify them. That's where the opportunity will be. From my point of view, I'm looking at the investments in sectors like, say, healthcare, health maintenance, e-health, well-being uh, generally. Um, I'm always very interested in the likes of water, for example, and the likes of the issues which relate, or the stocks and the companies which relate to, say, for example, agri-food production and biotech and the rest of it. And the reason why I actually like those sectors is because I believe that in the long run, 5, 10 year, 20 year horizon, we're going to rely more and more on this type of value added in the economy to move our society to offset the issues of the demographic deficits that we're facing and the longer term issues as well. In the companies which are not leveraged, the leverage to me is a killer at this stage, um, in the, if you want, in the cycle. So from that point of view, there are some smaller out there companies, both in the advanced economies and the emerging markets as well. And in emerging markets, some larger companies which are generating organic cash flow, and that's what you want, rather than actual debt. I would say the really exciting thing, if you want to have a high-stake game of a bit of risk, but a good potential, is probably oil.